This video is a quick overview of a better defaults package for Emacs. Let's get started. Better defaults, it gives you exactly what it says in the tin, better defaults. Uh, by that, the author of Technomancy means that these are the settings that Emacs should have had from the start. And I do tend to agree because this is the package that I tend to recommend to new Emacs users uh, all of the time. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what the uh, package has to offer. If we jump into Emacs over here, uh, I'm looking at my init.el file uh, and what the configuration has is just a better defaults package and a small config for uh, one of the conveniences that it, that it offers. Besides this, there's nothing else in this configuration. Um, <coughs> You can see uh, that I do not have any visual clutter like the menu bar, uh, the toolbar or the scroll bar. And this is uh, one of the features of the, uh, better, of the better defaults package to remove all of, the, all of the visual clutter. It also adds some visual things like the uh, visual bell. So let's say if we reach the beginning of the file or the end of the file, or there is some kind of other warning that Emacs is giving us, uh, we get notified by this. So let's say uh, now I'm on the first line and I try to scroll further up and I can't. So you can see the first and, uh, uh, and the last line of my Emacs is flashing. Uh, I have to say this is like a nice, <coughs> nice convenience uh, and I do appreciate it. It does look different across uh, different platforms. And for example, on OS, on OS 10 system, it tends to be like a warning sign right in the middle of Emacs. Uh, but yes, uh, here in my Linux, it's just like the first and the last line of the buffer in a high contrast, uh, high contrast uh, style. Uh, what else? Uh, tabs are disabled, so everything is uh, in spaces by default, which I think is a good uh, thing as well. Uh, what else? Uh, Better defaults introduces a couple of key bindings. Uh, well, maybe introduces is like too much of a, of a word because it does enhance the existing key bindings. For example, we can uh, search forward and search backward, but we do use regular expressions right, uh, right away. So for example, if I'm pressing Control S to search uh, forward, I can uh, do uh, search through a, uh, through a search, uh, through a regular expression. Uh, as you can see, the initialize is highlighted. However, I did not look up uh, the initialize as a word itself. Pretty convenient. Uh, works for search forward, search backwards. <coughs> uh, we do also get a hippie expand. So meta uh, forward slash is the key that we're interested in. Let's say I would like to get a suggestions for a C word and I do press meta uh, forward slash and we do get to loop through the suggestions that hippie, hippie expand uh, offers us. So we can uh, save ourselves some typing. The, the suggestions are whatever Emacs can find in the buffer or whatever is exposed by the main or the minor mode that you have um, you have enabled that are currently sorry that are currently enabled in the buffer uh, last of the key bindings that uh, better defaults introduces is a zap to char so let's say we have uh, some characters all, all on this line over here but before we would like to get rid of, of, of all of these ha ha ha's and just go straight to buy. Uh, to buy. So all we have to do is just to press uh, meta Z and whatever letter that we would like to zap to. What it's going to do is going to delete everything up until this letter minus that letter. So if I'm going to press B, I'm going to end up right before buy word on, on this line. This of course works across multiple lines. So if I'm going to press uh, meta Z B again, we just go 
to the byte that we uh, that we have uh, that we have in the last line over over here. Uh, another convenience that Better Defaults introduces is the IDO mode. So let's say if I'm going to uh, attempt to open some of the files, I do get a nicer autocomplete uh, compare, compared to what, what Emacs offers out of the box. Because if I remember correctly, there is like no autocomplete at all. But here we can uh, look through uh, the suggestions in a very convenient way. Uh, yes, uh, backups. That's another thing that uh, that Better Default introduces. It doesn't clutter uh, you whatever directories you are editing your files in. It does store the backups in your emacs.d directory. Oh, and there's like one more convenient function, which is the uh, highlight parents. Uh, yeah, this is also pretty nice and pretty useful, uh, especially when you work with. Uh, Elisp and uh, any other language that has parents and brackets. Uh, when it comes to multiple files, there is one convenience that uh, that better defaults offer as well, uh, and that's the uniquify functionality. So uniquify is a way to distinguish visually uh, on the mode line files with the same name. So let's say I have a bunch of directories here, like uh, bas, blah, 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 uh, bas, crooks, mumble, and then we have a name.txt. Uh, however, if I'm going to open another directory that starts with foo, bar, mumble, name.txt, in the plain Emacs, they would be displayed as name.txt, uh, open uh, brackets, and the number. However, here you can see that they are distinguished by whatever is the folder that is different, uh, that, that differentiates these two, uh, these two files. So yet another small convenience. Uh, if I'm going to jump back to the, our initl file, uh, and you can see now I'm in, right in the middle of the file. If I'm going to close this file and I do reopen that file, uh, my cursor is still going to be in the place where I, where it was when I was closing the file. So this is yet another convenience from better defaults, and this is what the safe place package brings us. That's enabled with better defaults. That's pretty much it when it comes to like important uh, features of this uh, of this package. I would say important. Important is maybe a too big of a word, but uh, something totally worth mentioning for sure. Uh, we do get to uh, to to we get we do get to uh, see some other small conveniences like the whenever we save a new file, we get a new line at the end, and uh, whenever there's like a new source file with the Elisp code, uh, Emacs is going to overwrite the bytecode from the previous uh, compilation of the Elisp file. And also like the last thing that the back, that the uh, better defaults package offers is the edif, edif, edif uh, window behavior. So it doesn't clutter your buffers uh, too much. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you might have as well read the readme to get all of the information that I just presented in this video, but there we have it. Better defaults. Enjoy!